Yesterday we came up from Staines to Windsor. Which is behind that boat. Windsor Castle. <laughs> Alright. So yeah, the ride around here was quite nice. There's like all these lovely potential moorings, but you can't moor on them because it's what did it say? Crown. Yeah. Crown Crown Estate. The Crown Estate. <laughs> and it says that it's a crime to land on them and, and I'm of the opinion that there were some SAS guys up in the trees ready to drop down and shoot anyone who tried. So we moored on Eaton's playing field. Yeah, where a bailiff arrived before <laughs> we'd even tied up. We hadn't even got the mooring pounds. pins in. And he's, yeah. he's there with his little ticket asking for our eight pounds. Yeah. And we don't know where we're going except... Forward. Onwards. Yeah. To a nice mooring, hopefully. Hopefully. Hopefully less aeroplanes. Yeah. Such Why did you build a castle underneath the takeoff path for Heathrow? Seriously. Elizabeth, what are you thinking? Seriously. There's, a, there's A380s coming over the castle every day. That's got to be annoying. We saw two black swans this morning, but I didn't film them. I took a photo. Yeah, I'm Here's just a glad photo. we weren't filming. <laughs> glad we weren't filming that swan over there a second ago. What was it doing? Um, I think it just, like, pooed about three and a half feet onto the face of a Canadian goose. Or a Canada goose. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, there's a Canada goose with an extra white stripe walking around over here right now. And there's hundreds of geese, like the boat. Like, I can't help feeding them because we've got some like proper duck food, not bread. So I can't help feeding them, but then as soon as you feed one, like hundreds appear yeah. by the boat. They're all like, wait, there are nuggets of good, and it is not bread. I shall rush to this boat and surround it. So we've got ducks, we've got geese, we've got swans, we've got black swans, we've got cuckoos. <laughs> It's cuckoo. It's cuckoo open. <laughs> Wait, do you see the one with the extra white bit on its face? Oh, now they're getting bread. No, see, I these, think, I think these people, people are giving up. them bread. Yeah. last two nights we liked it so much we didn't leave yeah. although we're forcing ourselves to go now yeah. it's just north of Maidenhead between Maidenhead and Cook Cookham just below Cliveden. 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 a big house Cliveden, uh, a National Trust property really nice house um, which is a good long walk up that way and back but that way is a good long walk to a fence that you can't turn around the through. woods is really nice there's all sorts of there's like a statue and yeah. like little things to find statue in the woods statue to the Duke of of the person who owned the house up there when this was the Duke of something rather, Connaught or something. Michael house, learned about the Perfuma affair. The Perfuma affair and the Astors, including Waldorf Astor. I always wondered why there was a hotel called the Waldorf Astoria. It was apparently named after Waldorf Astor. Probably should have figured that out, never did. Met some really nice uh, dogs and people along the paths and everything. Took a good long walk up into town yesterday and saw some horseshoes. Into town, he means Cookham. Cookham. Uh, which is like a village and yeah, it's really... Very, very small. But it's, it's really, really nice. Really nice village. Right. Absolutely worth the visit. A lot of the moorings on the Thames are in town, so we were really lucky to find this. Little this green one. space yeah. in the middle of nowhere. We're pushing towards the Kennet and Avon. Not sure how far we're going to get today, but keep going until we find a mooring. Yep.
Above the Marsh Lock, somewhere west of Henley, southwest. South, yeah. Yeah. Yesterday we went for miles and miles. <laughs> yeah, it, it ended up being a longer trip than we thought it would. Uh, we ran into, well, actually, we we followed up and, and eventually caught up to uh, Let It Be, which was funny because um, the guy wasn't actually riding, driving his boat, so we had to call him and be like, "I think someone stole your boat." <laughs> or yesterday was was actually all quite beautiful until we got to. Henley. So we Henley. went, yeah, we went through Cookham and then Marlow, which was we didn't oh, yeah. stop, but, but that seemed nice. Yeah, and then nice little quaint little town. Yeah, the mooring, like, it did look really nice, but it was seven pounds a night on someone's farmland, and nothing wrong with them charging, like that's fine. But we didn't really want. To we didn't want to pay tonight, <laughs> so we continued on to Henley, where I guess the regatta just finished a couple of days ago, and me being, you know, not from England. No one on the planet has heard of the Henley Regatta except for people here. Um, but apparently, it's a really big deal. So, we, and there was so much infrastructure still in place for it. Yeah. And even though torn it down. yeah, even though it finished, there was no moorings. Like the place where we could have moored, there were still signs up that said 200 pounds a night. And that, those were the ones that were that were that was the penalty for mooring. Oh yeah, yeah. And, but then there were ones that were offering moorings at 100 pounds a night. You know, the cheapest one I saw the entire time was was 24 hour mooring, 30 pounds. You know, um, when we got through all the regrets and stuff, we got to Henley and it was still 10 pounds. So yeah. we were like, no, we'll carry on. So we carried on a little bit, and it was, it wasn't that late. It was like probably four o'clock by this stage, but we'd been going since nine, so we were tired. Yeah, and came up the Marsh Lock, which was actually pretty neat. Like it went from this sort of cityfied area to. Like, yeah. To all of a sudden, there's just, just green. nothing except for a couple. The, there is some hideous architecture, but there are some. There's these gorgeous, there's beautiful houses all over the place, lovely like manners and everything. And then every once in a while, you'll see something and just be like, "What in God's name were you thinking?" Like, uh, so there was one of those. It was just, you know, I'm pretty sure this is what would happen if an American with absolutely no taste showed up and had too much money. Most of the looks had, um, all of them, but one had. Lock keepers, so that was really easy. Oh yeah, we and, saw... and that one was where there was a massive traffic jam. Oh yeah, the one where there was no lock keeper, there was like hundreds of people trying to organise everyone else. Yeah, and, this, and there was a massive backup. These, these guys who were trying to come down were in such a hurry that they opened the outgoing door for us. For us, but only large enough for the narrow boats to fit through. Because so they this... had to run back to their boats so they didn't miss their spot yeah. in the queue. So, so Joe had to run up and open the <laughs> door so that the cruiser would have been able to get out. It was, it was uh, an interesting day. And then we found this mooring, which I think it's near an eyot called Popeye. Which I think is that thing behind us right there. <laughs> it's an interesting mooring, but it's fine. Yeah. It's basically like we're abutted to some farmland. And it's not flat, so it goes like this. So we're kind of pivoting on this one thing. The bow's not touching the side, the stern's not touching the side, but the middle of the boat is. So. Yeah, so we have to do like a three foot leap to get off. It's not three foot. Well, the nice thing about it is it's so rural, like it's not towpath. I think it's a farm. Yeah. And um, it's super quiet. We kind of want to stay but we kind of want to get to the Kennet and Avon too because we're keen to do the solar and the batteries and that's what we're going to do. Just lots of little bits of work on the boat. Yeah, so we think we're going to push on today and leave our little private mooring and then onto the K&A tomorrow. Yeah, daunting. <laughs> we're leaving the big bad Thames for the quite tiny K&A.
best today. What's going on with my hair? Your hair. <laughs> Yesterday we came up from Staines to Windsor. Which is... Behind that boat. Seriously, you can't see the cast at all. <laughs> it's, it's, it's back there. Windsor Castle. Okay, now turn, down, down, no, move your arms down, move your camera up. Arms down, camera up. Okay. Windsor Castle. <laughs> it's Saturday, we had a walk up there and they're all in their full uniform looking very formal. Technically it's Friday. Is it Friday? <laughs> <laughs> you had to check that. <laughs> Why was he laughing at I us? Because he's being videotaped. He's, he's not though. He's not. And all through the woods is. Why are you threatening me with a hammer? I'm going to hit her tiny head with a hammer. Um, <laughs> no, my big head with a tiny. <laughs> big, sorry, big head with tiny hammer. <laughs> Let me put that in the other hand. You, you, you're not very often finding a, a laundrette or anything, so. Um, yeah, so, you know, we've. Hey there. That's, that's a little off. Yeah, exactly. That's my problem. That's, look, I eat a lot of pickles, all right?